The Teske Brothers are a rare musical gem, honoring that old school Motown sound and working it into something of their very own. The band has received widespread acclaim for their albums Half Mile Harvest and Run Home Slow. A raw combination of soul and blues, the band's sound has warmed the hearts of listeners everywhere. Their latest album, The Winding Way, is on the rise this week at number 15. And I'm thrilled to say that I have one of the brothers with me today, the fantastic Sam Teske. Hi, Sam. How are you? How you doing? Good, thank you. Awesome. So tomorrow you are heading to Edmonton for the Edmonton Folk Music Festival. And uh, the folks are going to love you. And I hope they give you a great Alberta and Canada welcome. So you have a brand new album called The Winding Way. It's number 15 on our top 30 chart. It's rising uh, up the up the ranks. It's great to hear. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, what are some of the ingredients that kind of helped you and your brother Josh to be so fantastic and prolific and soulful? Like who are some of your influences and, and what did your mom and dad give you to eat for breakfast? <laughs> I feel like mom made me pancakes a lot. That just made me happy. Um, and I <laughs> yeah. think that's probably the, um, that's probably the, uh, you know, the ingredient to, to make in making good music, you know, being, being, um, being content and happy and, and, and having a sort of open eyes. And I think we're very lucky. Definitely heard a lot of the John Lennon and Imagine album, a lot of Percy Sledge it kind of drilled into our brains a little bit. And then I think when we got old enough to sort of, start dabbling with guitars and playing i think we started discovering even more music from that era and i guess we kind of did get stuck in that era a lot <laughs> and probably why our music yeah. sounds like it does because we just we just can't get past it it was a very special time in music i think in so many different ways from the uk like from europe to america you know it's like the cross pollination of the of the two worlds was phenomenal so we really love what those mixtures kind of entail and yeah the beautiful outcomes they have created yeah that's beautiful did your parents were they also musicians did they play instruments at all so dad is always a poet mm. and um when we were young he started playing the guitar he sort of got his first guitar and started strumming a bit i think we kind of got inspired so he, we kind of started learning as he was learning and then you know he turned his poetry into some beautiful songs and and so mm. you know still to this day he's writing um some really amazing songs with his poetry and you know that's that was always very inspiring to grow up around um and we still still inspiring to you know go down to their place in the you know south of victoria uh mm. south, southeast they are and they've got a beautiful little farm out there or a ranch, as you, you would call it over here, you know. And we, we go down there and usually almost every time we go down there, it's a, usually a song pops out. Like there's always something that, mm. that is ready to come out. And it's like one of those very inspiring places to be. And then from, from you know, from recently, like mum and dad have started started performing themselves. Like they've started going out gigging. Wow. Yeah, and it's really really cool to see they're playing not they you know become very well known down in their area. There's lots of great harmonies and and um they they have a really mm. kind of cool cool folky vibe which is awesome. Oh, that's incredible. Do you think there'll ever be a Teskey family album? Oh, I I reckon I reckon so we've got to make a Teskey family band for sure. <laughs> um yeah. So, yeah, that, yeah. so that's that's to come for sure. We 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 me and Josh always talk about how we'd love to actually take some of dad's songs and um and you know cover them and uh, that would be probably the start to it and then also probably do do one where we're all playing together which would be really lovely um yeah sure oh that's great yeah that's beautiful when you do travel now who's in your band what's it like being in a band with your brother well it's it's awesome yeah we don't really tiff like normal brothers do we sort of we just sort yeah. of kind of go on which is lovely <laughs> So it's nice to just kind of always, you kind of feel like you're just bringing your home with you wherever you go. And, and, you know, of course we've got, you know, over the last five months, we, me and Josh both have brought our families with us. So, um, cause with us doing the slow touring. So we figured we'd have the weeks where we could, um, help parent, you know, and, and do, and do that part of things. And then on the weekends we'd go to the gigs, you know, I've got a two year old and a eight year old and, and, um, Josh has got a, uh, 
a two-year-old and a three-year-old. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, um, he's got his hands <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So it really feels like a big family. We're all touring together and yeah, it's really lovely. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. And who, uh, who's the oldest out of the Teskey brothers? Uh, so that would be Josh. Okay. He's the, he's the oldest, so I'm the little brother. <laughs> he's sort of another influence of mine, really, like, you know, growing up and he's two years older than me. So he kind of started discovering these these old blues artists, all the classics, you know, Robert Johnson and, mm-hmm. you know, B.B. King and, you know, Ray Charles was massive, you know, for vocals, yeah. I think, for Josh. And probably at that time he was very much, um, he kind of started to find his voice, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. There was a very... Mm-hmm big moment I remember as a kid this is probably before I was playing and Josh is actually kind of just joking around I think before he was really even playing he kind of came out to dad and and said hey dad look I can sing like a blues man he just did like a (laughs) like kind of as a bit of a joke and he was like what he's probably listening to too many of these old blues artists and um and he then he started screaming this you know this 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 vocal and dad dad sort of turned around hey Josh that's pretty good you should keep singing like that you Mm -hmm. know Ever since then, he kind of just kept singing with that with a whole bunch of grunge. And it was, you know, probably a few octaves higher back then to hear recordings <laughs> yeah. of him when he was 12. And it still sounds like the same voice. It's just like, it's just right up there. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it's in fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fabulous. Yeah. Fabulous. Well, I'm super stoked to catch you tonight in Vancouver. And and then I know folks are really pumped to see you tomorrow at the Edmonton Folk music festival yeah. uh before i let you go i would love for you to choose a song from the album uh the winding way and maybe tell our listeners a little bit about it okay well um uh what song well this could be i mean we're loving playing this song live which is um which is a song called uh what will be i love that track yeah it's just a lot of fun and um, we're playing it mm-hmm. usually playing it at the end of the set as well you know we were just like probably go out with this one and uh and it's it kind of brings us into a bit more of an upbeat world and also very, very moody. I like the um sort of the message in it as well. So yeah, after after a whole album of lovey dovey things, it ends on this one where it's it's a bit more bitter. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have the bitter with the sweet. Bittersweet, you know? Yeah, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well, thank you so much yeah. for your time today. Uh, I'm really I can't wait to hear this tune live. Uh, but in the meantime, here is the Teskey Brothers from the well, album The Winding Way. Yeah. This is what will be. I yeah. wish you all the best. It was great to chat with you. Yeah, great to chat with you too. Thanks so much, see you, Sam. See you, thank you, Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll be there in the in the corner waving at you. See you.